Hey guys, welcome back to a What I Eat in a Day. If you're new here, my name is Imani and I've been vegan for almost three years now, which sounds absolutely crazy. I cannot believe it's already been that long. Time really flies. I literally start every morning with one to two dates. They're an excellent form of carbs. I work out in the morning and it just fuels my workouts. I've also been loving Uptime, which is a vegan a vegan well i mean everything's vegan but an energy drink that i've really been liking lately as opposed to celsius i found that celsius sometimes makes me feel bloated and not my best but uptime has been absolutely delicious and i love their flavors you can find them on amazon that's where i order mine and i believe certain select 7-elevens have them but they're few and far in between so i always opt for amazon when I get home from the gym, if I'm having a slow morning and I feel like treating myself, I'll make myself a protein coffee. It's the best way to get my protein in after a workout because it's almost like a reward. And I'm gonna eat that with a bagel. I make my own vegan cream cheese out of tofu, which also makes it protein packed. And I love to top it with a little bit of sprouts. You're gonna see that in the next clip. Other than that, enjoy breakfast, y'all. It's a great way to start your morning, especially after a great workout. For lunch, I'm pretty much a creature of habit. I'll go ahead and eat leftovers from last night's dinner, um, which is always convenient. This time I had some leftover tempeh and eggplant, which I created last night. It was so good. The recipe is on my TikTok and it's super easy to whip up. And I know sometimes people are against tempeh. They don't like how it tastes. They don't like the texture, but I promise you if you make it correctly and you season it well, you will love it. It's also an excellent form of protein. It's just so high in protein. It's low in carbs. It's just, it's excellent. It's amazing. And I'll eat it with some brown rice. So this is my lunch for the day. If you watched my last video, you know I am obsessed with Three Wishes. It's just, it's amazing. It's a chickpea-based cereal, which sounds crazy, but I promise you it tastes delicious. This is their seasonal um, flavor, the pumpkin spice flavor. It's so good. It's packed with protein, excellent form of carbs, and low sodium. I'm obsessed with it. For dinner, I decided to spice things up and make a homemade pizza. I pretty much would make pizza with what I have in the fridge, but 
Most importantly, I always try to add one green element. It's super hard to find a protein packed pizza. So I just do what I can, especially when I have a lot of carbs left in my macros for the day. So this is what I added. I added some red sauce, as you guys can see in the video. And then I found these vegan pepperonis at Sprouts. They're not the most sodium friendly, but they're absolutely delicious. And I decided, you know what, why not treat myself? I'm already having pizza. Um, and then I topped with some two ingredients I love. I love olives and I love kale so I went ahead and topped it with that and that was dinner it was so good also I love of course always seasoning my pizzas it has my preference I always add basil um, salt pepper sometimes garlic powder sometimes fresh garlic it just depends on how I'm feeling and then I topped off a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes which is an excellent touch and I've also been loving this Parmesan from oh father God forgive me Violi life Vile life. I feel like it's a lot simpler than I'm making it, but <laughs> it's really good. I've been loving it. Once again, dinner was more like a treat, but it was absolutely delicious and definitely worth every single bite. Lastly, for dessert, if you have been an avid follow me for a long time, you know that I am a lover of protein fluff. If you don't know what that is, that's basically adding some cocoa whip. I always use the light cocoa whip because it's less fat. And then I add in some protein powder. Of course, good tasting protein powder. It has to be delicious. You have to like it. That's the number one rule. Um, so you would just go ahead and mix them together until you get a consistency that you like. It might not look beautiful, but it tastes good and it gets the job done. If you're needing some extra protein in your macros or if you feel like you just haven't got enough for the day, this is exactly what I do. <laughs> and it tastes good, I promise. that is the end of this video please let me know if you guys enjoy these i love making them and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video love you bye